If you are looking for an affordable, high-performance electric scooter that encompasses all the features you desire, the C1 from Caroma might be what you're looking for. Let's take a closer look. This is Caroma's C1 electric scooter, packed full of all the features that you could ask for at an affordable price. Starting with 10 inch pneumatic tires, giving this scooter a very smooth and comfortable ride. It features a rear disc brake for strong braking on steep slopes and rough terrain. Front and rear lighting systems for a safer ride at night. An active brake light as well as turn indicator singles. For added safety, there are side reflectors, as well as a rear reflector. The rear tire implements a quick disconnect system, allowing you to quickly remove the tire. This scooter features a large riding platform with a rubber coated anti-slip material. What makes this scooter stand out from others is its powerful 500 watt motor coupled with a 500 watt hour battery allowing the scooter to reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour and 30 miles on a charge. Moving up, the handlebar has a quick release allowing it to collapse for quick and easy transportation. Soft grip anti-slip handlebars. And don't forget the bell. You got to have a bell on these electric scooters. Here's where you're going to locate your turn indicator controls. And on the right side, we feature our power button, light switch, as well as the throttle. Another feature that makes this electric scooter stand out is its smart LED display. The smart LED display lets you easily track cruise control, speed, mileage, and battery level and can also be controlled with your smart app by Bluetooth connection, making this an anti-theft lock, riding status, and gives you the ability to set your cruise control all from your app. The smart LED display will show your battery level, Bluetooth indication, odometer mileage, miles per hour, and the speed setting that which you are set. By pressing the power button, you can go through the speed settings, one, two, or three. The scooter measures 47.1 inches long by 44 inches tall and weighs just a little over 46.5 pounds. With the handlebars folded, it measures just 22.8 inches tall, making it very compact and easy to get in the back of any vehicle for transportation. Your scooter will arrive safely packaged. And will require just a few minutes to assemble before you can begin riding. So how well does this electric scooter handle and perform? Let's go for a ride and find out. All right, so the first test we're going to do is a top end speed to see how fast the scooter actually goes. Then we're gonna travel up a steep slope to see how well it performs there followed by an acceleration test and a brake test. We're going to set the scooter on speed setting three. Here we go. This will be a top speed test.
indicated on the display is 19, GPS is 20, hitting 25 on the screen, 26 on GPS, 27. Amazing, we're going 27 miles an hour according to the GPS. That's flying. Considering that it's rated for 25 miles per hour. Let's see what our top speed was here. Top speed was 27.3 miles per hour. That's pretty impressive. Now we're gonna go take a left up here and we have a pretty good incline and we'll see how it does going up this hill. I've tested a couple other scooters on this hill before and they have all performed fairly decent. I know the hill doesn't show as much on the camera but it is a very steep slope so let's see what we can do going up this hill. see what our top speed is showing 17 18 we're still picking up some speed 19 so 18 19 miles per hour indicated GPS speed going up the steep slope and I do want to mention that it is super windy. Oh, we got 20 mile an hour winds coming straight at me. So that might be a factor as well. But overall 19 miles per hour is still really good on a very steep incline. All right. Now let's test an acceleration test here. We're gonna have it in, uh, we'll start in mode one first and we'll see how quickly it accelerates to the top speed of mode one. And here we go. All right, we're at top speed, 10 miles per hour. So that happened really quick. Let's put her in mode two and see how quickly that accelerates. Right up to 15, 16. All right, now we're gonna put it in mode three. Fastest setting and see how quickly we can accelerate to 25 miles per hour. Let's go. 14, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, <laughs> there we are. And going slightly uphill here at 26 miles per hour. Let's see what top speed is going down this steep hill. If we can beat that 27.3. See if we can hit 28, 28, 29. There we go, 29 miles per hour. Hit 30. 30 miles per hour on a slight downward slope here. That is impressive. This scooter flies. The acceleration is just amazing. Wow. All right, now for our next test here, I'm gonna get across the road and we're gonna do a brake test from top speed. And then we'll see how quickly that this scooter stops with that disc brake. We'll get her up to speed and then we're gonna hit the brakes. All right, we're at 24. Let's call it good there, 25, let's hit the brakes. Oh yeah, she stops quick. That's impressive. 
wow, that disc brake really grabbed. That actually was pushing me forward a little bit. Acceleration is just impressive. I can't, you hit the throttle here and it just pulls you back a little bit. It's almost like driving a sports car <laughs> on a scooter. Let's see how well the scooter just handles like back and forth. We're gonna go in uh, mode one here. We're just gonna cruise around and just do some hard turns back and forth here. Very nice. These 10 inch pneumatic tires make this road feel really smooth and it is a very rough road. Pneumatic tires sure help versus solid tires. That's one benefit of this scooter from Karoma is that 10 inch pneumatic tire sure absorbs the bumps. Let's see how it does with one handed driving because I know a lot of scooters when you pull one hand off, you get a little shimmy in the front and it's a little bit hard to control. And this one handles pretty good. You gotta have a fairly strong grip with your right hand but it does uh, handle it pretty good. You don't get that real bad shake in the front like some of the other scooters out, out, out there on the market. This one still is smooth. You feel in control. I like that. The platform and the handlebar height is just right. The anti-slip grip on the platform feels really secure and safe. There's no slipping going on there. It's a really nice, soft, rubber coated. Overall, this scooter handles very impressive. I'm loving this one. Guys, if you haven't ridden an electric scooter before, I suggest you try it. These things are so much fun to ride. The scooter is rated up to 30 miles on a charge. Charging does take roughly five to six hours from low battery to full charge. So take that into consideration when you wanna go for your next ride. Man, this thing handles awesome with these 10 inch tires. It's just nice, smooth, comfortable. The grips on the handlebars are really soft and grippy. It doesn't feel like your hands are gonna slip off. It is a little bit cooler out today which can make that rubber stiffen up, but these are staying soft. Feels good. I hope you guys are enjoying this review. If you are, please like and subscribe. I will appreciate it. Liking the video is the easiest thing you can do to help support my channel. These videos do take a lot of time to create. I put a lot of time and effort into them and I hope you guys appreciate them.
Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys found this video helpful in deciding your next electric scooter purchase. These electric scooters from Coroma are such a blast to ride and have been very dependable for me. This is the fourth electric scooter I've owned from Coroma and every one of them has performed flawlessly up to this date. Every one that I have tested has met the specs that they state on their website. If you guys are interested in checking out this electric scooter, I'll have a link in the description. This particular model comes in four different colors as well. As always, thanks for watching and remember to get outdoors with Dino.